Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Ostrich Vox, and the revelation that Rose Quartz was Pink Diamond is going to have long lasting effects on basically everybody, but especially Steven himself. Now, today, I want to focus solely on Steven's powers. As, surprise, surprise, all along, he was sporting the powers of a diamond. That's huge and pretty much changes the game. But this had me thinking with how diamonds are propped up to be the best of the best, and we haven't come close to see the extent of their abilities, and hell, if Pink Diamond has this sort of arsenal, we can only imagine what Yellow and Blue are truly capable of, then I think it's a strong possibility Steven has more than one gem weapon, that the shield was just the beginning. Now for the most part, we do not have any indication that a diamond is capable of having more than one gem weapon, but there is one instance, a very muddled instance, that could allude to such. In Gemcation during Garnet's super brief flashback, when facing off against Pink Diamond, the gem matriarch was sporting what appeared to be gem destabilizers. Now what makes it so muddled is that the show does not make it clear how much of this flashback was actually Garnet and how much was actually Steven. Just like in the answer, a lot of people will chalk it up Steven's imagination, but then you have instances like Blue Diamond and Blue Pearl or those gem silhouettes we saw in Gemcation that look like they could be actual gems and they more than likely are. And it's really odd to me that Steven would imagine Pink Diamond having gem stabilizers because one, why? And two, Rose Quartz was not presented in that flashback. That was another hint that Rose was Pink Diamond. So really the notion of, oh, well, this is how Steven imagined it, doesn't carry much weight, from my perspective. If that was the case, why didn't Steven imagine her with gem destabilizers and your mother in mind? How would Steven perfectly envision the end, with Rose pulling in Garnet and Pearl shielding them from the corruption blast? The answer is, that doesn't make sense. The safest bet is that this stylization is, well, just that, a stylization, nothing more. I personally am not gonna carry the idea that, oh, we're just seeing Steven in visions, and I know Buddy's book kind of established that, but even things Things like our line appearing in that flashback with a heart-shaped nose wouldn't make sense because Steven would have no prior knowledge of that. But I'm getting off topic. The point is, giving Pink Diamond would appear to be a gem destabilizer, or in general, another weapon, was very intentional on the storyboarder's part. Yet what doesn't add up is Garnet wasn't familiar with the gem destabilizer in the return. She had no prior reaction and ran face first into the attack. This led a lot of people to assume it's an Era 2 weapon, and it very well could be. It appears appears to be based off a of Yellow Diamond's Electrokinesis after all, but we also saw a blue gem destabilizer and stuck together, which we still don't know if it works the same way, it looked like it had slight alterations, so who's to say Pink Diamond herself didn't have another weapon? This weapon was the original gem destabilizer with her own elemental ability. Now Rose Quartz had a very particular shield, one that was recognizable by both the Crystal Gems and Homeworld, and if the Crystal Gems faced off against Pink Diamond as seen in Gemcation, I don't think she would be able to summon her shield or else people would notice, oh wait, that's the shield of Rose Quartz, what's going on here? Thus, she had to defend or go on the offensive some other way that wasn't the shield. Again, it's possible she could have manifested another weapon. Should this weapon be what appeared to be the stabilizer or something new entirely, I'm not exactly sure. But if all of this was the case, why hasn't Steven been able to summon said weapon? And I think that goes hand in hand with Steven's arc and his personality. We all know Steven is caring, he doesn't like to hurt anybody. He likes to defend people, hence the shield, something that was made for defense. And yes, we've seen Steven utilize his shield in more offensive ways, going all Captain America on everybody, but this was after he regularly summoned his shield. And as he saw that Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl only had one weapon, he likely assumed he only had one as well. I think if Steven was put in a position where he had to play the offense, not the defense, so no bubble, no shield, for example, a situation like Bismuth, but he doesn't have Rose's sword on him, he would then manifest that offensive weapon that Pink Diamond possessed all those years ago. While I don't see Steven ever becoming a cold-blooded killer, I do see him having to accept that sometimes he can't always be on the defensive. That there are going to be more times similar to his encounter with Bismuth, where he'll have no choice but to actually fight. Yeah, I do think it's possible this will be after we get more flashbacks of Pink Diamond. Maybe Ruby, Sapphire, Garnet reminiscing about a time they actually had to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Pink Diamond, and specifically mentions her weapon, giving more context to it before Steven actually summons it, so that way it just makes a little more sense. As another reason Steven may not have been able to summon anything beyond the shield yet is that when Pink Diamond reformed, she fully embraced the persona of Rose Quartz. Doing so meant she only summoned Rose Quartz's weapon, but Steven is his own person. And even if Pink Diamond embraced being Rose and assumed that form full time, the gemstone is still Pink Diamond, thus those Pink Diamond abilities would still be within. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I would love to hear yours.
Wars. What do you think? Could Steven have another weapon? Or do you think the shield's enough? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet them directly to me at AltrekBots. We're at the Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Vids. You can also let us know on Stardust. The app where you leave reactions to movies, trailers, TV shows, and once a week or so, we feature your reactions here on Crystal Clear because I want to get you guys involved with the show. So please download Stardust, follow us at Roundtable Vids, tag us in your reaction. You can tag us on Steven Universe with any episode you feel is tied back to the theory the most. Or if you just want to leave your thoughts on a random episode, looking back at something you may have known more foreshadowing, maybe you formed your own theory from a certain episode. It's a fun time. I highly advise it. And again, link to that in the description. If you want to help us grow, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and have your name featured at the end of the video like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Stay in the loop of all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox, out.